What's going on everyone? It's Justin here and today I finally got another desk setup tour video for you guys and it is of a minimalist video editing desk. So if you guys might know, ever since I went full time with YouTube about two months ago, I've been trying to upload more but also really improve the quality of the content with camera upgrades but also want to just bring you guys a nice variety of tech, lifestyle and fashion and maybe even travel videos moving forward. As a result of all these crazy ideas that I can't wait for you guys to see, I needed a little bit of help so I hired a full time video guy, Nick, and he also does a little bit of editing for me as well well. hope you guys like what we are producing and putting out on a fucking daily basis, yeah right? <laughs> <laughs> One thing I was really excited to do from the start was put together a desk setup for Nick based on what he likes and kind of the things that I've kind of thought about doing in a minimalist setup because you guys probably might have seen my setup before. So when I first started here a month ago, this desk was pretty much just Justin's useless table for storing all his garbage. Then he cleaned it up and bought me all this stuff, put it on it, and made it look a lot nicer than his pile of shit on the other side. So now when I'm working, I have this nice, sleek setup and I look over and he has like red Solo cups and piles of nuts on his desk and coffee cups and I just have this nice pristine area behind me to work in front of. Nick explained it well, because there's so many things just going on, it definitely isn't anything close to minimal or as minimal as I would have liked it. So for this setup, the intention was to have it as minimal and nice as possible, but also have all the tools you need to video edit. If you guys want to win an item for your desk setup though, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel, drop a like on this video, and also leave a comment down below as to what your favorite item is, and I'll announce a winner in the comment section at 3,000 likes. I'm also really going to try to make more setup videos for you guys, as well as bring over the setup makeover series, which a ton of you have been asking about, but it just takes a ton of time to make. So make sure you have post notifications on, and follow me over on my Instagram and Twitter with Behind the Scenes. As always, all the products mentioned in this video are going to be down below, but let's just go ahead and get started from the beginning. So the table itself is the IKEA Linman with the curl legs and I've used this many times before because of just how light, minimal and also how cheap it is to set up all together. With my home office not being too big and having quite a few desks around, it's always nice to be able to move things around with wheels on them and so this setup in Canada costed $20 per leg and the Linman top itself I believe is also under $30. It does come in a few different sizes that you can pick from, but the one right here is kind of a good size in terms of having a compact iMac setup. As for the main computer here, we have my old computer, which is the 5K iMac from 2015, which is pretty much maxed out with an i7 with four gigs of AMD video RAM, as well as 32 gigs of RAM. And this is a computer that I used for a while before I switched over to the MacBook in 2016. It really wasn't used in the past two years, but one of the biggest upgrades that I made to it recently was thanks to SanDisk and a two terabyte SSD. And it just gives the computer a lot of storage to work with when it comes to fast video editing and also file transfer. I've heard some good and bad things about the iMac Pro and mostly good things when it comes to performance. And although I have considered that as my main computer for the office because I never take my MacBook Pro anywhere, I myself am not the biggest fan of iMacs, but Nick definitely loves it so far. Even though we do have two terabytes of internal SSD, we still like to use external scratch disks and all the ones that we have are from SanDisk as well. And that just makes it very easy to transfer files back and forth along with projects. As for speakers, I wanted something that was a little bit taller and more slimline than what I used to use, which was the Audio Engine A2 Plus. So for this setup, I think the best fit for it was the Edifier 25HD. 
This speaker has a very futuristic look to it that I think looks awesome. It is very minimal and comes in a few different colors. And of course, as always, I went with a white one. The Edifier 25HD is very feature packed with Bluetooth 4.0, a remote for controlling the volume and stuff. There's also a three inch base with a three quarter inch silk dome tweeter and twin passive radiators for nice bass. And it definitely does project quite nicely. And with the neighbor's living room being directly behind this wall, I'm a little bit worried. As for the stand that I have with the iMac, you guys might know that the iMac is not exactly the most ergonomically set up desktop. For anyone who's over like five foot eight, which I myself am not, it is kind of a weird angle to be looking downwards on the computer and it just makes it very uncomfortable on the neck over long periods of time. So what we have here is the 12 South High Rise and this is their new model that is actually made for the iMac Pro in a very nice space gray matching color and walnut on the front. And this essentially just raises the iMac to a comfortable height while giving you a pad to place all of your items on and also a storage area that also hides your cables for hard drives and external scratch disks. As for some of the other things on this desk, we have the Logitech MX Master Mouse, and I think for video editing and any timeline, this mouse is the best because of the horizontal scrolling and the fact that it is also very ergonomic, and the new model also has a great battery life. The Apple Magic Keyboard is also the option of choice here just to keep everything clean and simple with that white color scheme. But also something new that we're checking out recently is actually called the Loop Deck, and this is great for someone who uses Photoshop and Lightroom to edit photos. For anyone who looks at this, this is pretty much a photographer's dream, and it has every little dial and HSL setting the clarity, brightness, exposure, and everything you need in the develop tab of Lightroom built into a physical keyboard. And essentially after like a minute of setup, you can just plug it in anytime you're using Lightroom and it works right away. For anyone who edits tons and tons of photos over on Lightroom, this is kind of a must have tool. And it's something that I just saw online and thought it was so cool and had to check out. With the new camera upgrades, I'm definitely trying to do more photography for Instagram and stuff. And I'm trying to improve my skills here and there. And this is just something that makes everything so much more fun. As for the chair, Nick is currently using the Herman Miller Embody Chair, which you guys might have seen in my office tour, and I personally use the Aeron because I find that more comfortable, but the Embody is pretty much the best chair that Herman Miller makes right now. It's got that very nice skeletal frame to it, a set of armrests, the fabric finish, it just looks so good and is equally as comfortable. Last but not least, something that you guys really suggested when you saw my apartment tour is some sort of greenery. So we have one single Ikea fake plant that is going on Nick's desk, which I think kind of adds to the look with the walnut and the background. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this minimalist video editing and photo editing desk setup tour that I've tried to keep as clean as possible compared to my desk. But now I'm gonna go ahead and let Nick introduce himself. What's up guys, my name is Nick. I'm the new full-time videographer for Justin on the channel here. My main duties are filming. I do a little bit of editing, hence the new desk setup that we're about to talk about right now. Some of my interests are traveling. I like to cook, I do some skateboarding, and I'm slightly into fashion, just like Justin, even though he only wears champion hoodies on a daily basis. The main videos I make are cinematic travel lifestyle videos, which is what we're trying to do on the channel here. So we're still trying to get used to the equipment and the workflow, but I think we have all the tools it takes to become the best tech, lifestyle, fashion, and travel channel. So I do like the new setup because it is very minimalistic and it matches my style. One of my favorite pieces is the 12 South high rise because it does raise the computer off the desk a little bit. It makes it much easier on my neck looking up rather than looking down at the screen. The speakers on the other hand complement the setup really well. They sound really nice and it just makes a nice sleek overall look to the table. The mouse is ergonomic and it's one of Justin's favorites so he made sure that my desk had one as well. But otherwise I hope you guys like the new desk setup. I might be seeing you in some future videos but I hope you guys like what we are producing and putting out on a daily basis, yeah right. <laughs> Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, comment your favorite part of the desk setup tour down below and some other episodes that you guys wanna see next. I know I've really been slacking on these desk setup videos this year and I really wanna get back into it a bit more, but I always love making them and I like to go kind of overboard a lot of the times. And in this case, I just wanted something that was nice and aesthetic and simple, but I'll see you all in the next video. What's going on everyone, it's Justin here. What's going on everyone, it's Justin here. What's going on everyone, it's Justin here. And I finally got another desk setup tour for you guys. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Nick. F <laughs> Alright, <laughs> this is gonna be done at 8 o'clock.